All right, and next in our Crimson Dynamo Build-A-Figure set for the Black Widow movie, we have this Winter Soldier. This is the comic book version, and it looks like we have the same art four times again, which it's cool artwork, but I just wish we had a couple, like on the Black Widow one. This one comes with the head of Crimson Dynamo, comes with two guns, and it comes with Bucky right here, right? Sergeant Barnes. So, um, let's take a look. And it looks absolutely outstanding from here. Let's see what it says right here. The Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier is a fierce combatant and an asset in battle, no matter which team he fights for. Which is also unfortunate because you want him to fight for the good guys. But um, it's awesome to have him. Comic book version now. And before I pull him out, let me show you something. You're gonna like this. Here are two of the three other Winter Soldier action figures we have. Of course, this is from the second Captain America movie. And then we have this one, which is from Civil War. And this one we got as a steal, practically, from um, Walmart. This is a Walmart exclusive. And then, which I'll have to f go and find, we also have the uh, one from Avengers Infinity War, which was a, um, a two-pack, which came with Falcon. But let's get back to this one right here, because we'll later on do a comparison video. Look how cool this is back here. This has all these different Marvel sig uh, symbols right here. We have Captain America, Thor. So we have Black Panther, we have Nova, we have Spider-Man, we have Avengers, Ant-Man, uh, Iron Man, so on and so forth, Captain Marvel. That looks great. Okay, so let's get the head out of the Crimson Dynamo. This definitely looks like the Mark II of the Crimson Dynamo um, suit. Look at that. Okay, let's get Bucky out. Let's get his... Wow, this is awfully soft plastic, but let's get his, his weapons out. Take a look at that. That one handgun. And what is this? It's like a salt rifle right here. Take him out. And let's get closer again. Let's take a look. Wow. This is, of course, his metal arm. Look how soft this plastic is so it doesn't break off. But then again, probably be ripped off, so be careful with that. Let's zoom in. And it's more of a mask here than the black, kind of like war paint makeup he had in the movie. We have hints of brown in the hair. And we have what appears to be some. Uh, looks like they tried it again with a single ball joint on the head. Interesting. On the neck. And I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of that. Looks like it's working out pretty decent here because the hair's down, it kind of covers it up. But I didn't like it on the Yelena figure. So, can't blame him for trying something new though. Alright, so this is not attached, but it is supposed to remain permanently on there. And the only way to remove it would be to remove the arms. Let's see what sort of articulation we have here. This clicks as it goes around. Moves in the high part of the bicep. So we have double joints right here on the elbow. Moves in pretty well. Let's see this watch. Cool. <laughs> that can be turned on its own. Let's see. This wrist. Good. It moves back and forth instead of um, kind of that up and down side to side. So it moves this way. This finger is pretty soft. Look at that. Little tactical pouches right here, bags. Um, this clicks also. Looks very similar. Oh no, this arm looks huge compared to this one. Look at this. And then uh, we got double joints right here on the elbows. Comes in right here to almost a 45 degree angle. I'm digging that this wrist goes back and forth like this also and around. That looks good. We'll put the gun in there in a minute. So his um, belt does move around freely on its own. It's got great detail and great colors there. This does not come out. None of these weapons do. These grenades, these uh, magazines, this handle for this blade is really small. Look at that. Some more magazines. This is um, floats right here. Let's see. We got 
That's some really wow heavy duty knee joints look how heavy duty that is okay it turns right here in the high part of the thigh Let's see. same thing on this leg it's kind of just a mirror image you got really great baggy pant detail right here look at that very nice the boots some really well done boots as far as the detail on them and then they do pivot well so that looks great so this bucky action figure looks awesome and let's see which gun do we want where i'll put that one there and put this one here Ooh, this is some soft plastic we'll need to open up this hand momentarily just slide that right on in there I'll put his trigger finger in there. And you know what? How do we want to pose this Bucky right here? Uh, let's take a look. So let me see. Give me a second, let me see. All right, so one thing we can actually do is have him Hold the gun with both hands. That looks outstanding. I certainly think so. Look at that. Depends how we want him to be. Look at that. You can use his ab crunch to look even more fierce. Do we want to do that? Or do we want to have him hold both guns? So let's take a look at that. Okay, and I actually think I like this even better. Just an imposing figure. Look. I separate his legs a little bit so that he's kind of taking a step forward, kind of aggressively. And this Bucky looks absolutely outstanding. Look at that. So I'm gonna bring him right on over here. Have him just towering over basically everybody else. Everybody's like in defensive mode and he's kind of like on the offensive. There we go. It's gonna start leaning forward, hopefully not. There we are. Let me just fix his feet real quick. There we go. Hey, let's work the second ago. Let's just bring him forward slightly. There we go. That looks absolutely Okay, great. And if one for Red Guardian crouching down, you know, he'd probably be as tall as him. All right, so let's move on. What do you say?